It is 11 a.m. I arrive at the home of a new and unfamiliar family. The surroundings are beautiful. I have brought food with me that I am excited to cook and share with them. But before I get started, I have a gift for grandma. Grandma has a problem understanding why I want to cook for them. She's not pleased with me yet. Although the rest of the family is excited to try a new lunch from a stranger. For centuries, firewood has been the primary source of fuel in rural Africa. This tradition dates back to the ancient times when communities relied on natural resources readily available in their surroundings. Firewood was easy to collect from nearby forests and people developed technique over time to efficiently use it for cooking, heating and other purposes. We have to boil water for the chicken because we are cooking chicken. This is the home that I'm at today. Look at that. Beautiful. Many rural households are accustomed to cooking with firewood and using the traditional three stone method. This method involves placing three stones in a triangular formation to hold the cooking pot over the fire, which allows for even heat distribution. In more urbanized areas, gas is becoming more common, but in villages, firewood is still the primary choice. Like the chicken has run away. It was running away. It knows what's up now. When preparing chicken, the water must be brought to a boil, then the chicken is dipped in to loosen the feathers for easy removal. With a helping hand, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to pluck all the feathers.
when we were younger we were told if you talk the feathers will be growing back but I think our parents just wanted us to be quick so that we don't be talking a lot fat chicken Gigi. After the feathers are removed, the chicken is usually placed over a fire to single off the remaining small feathers. However, according to grandma, this would make it smell smoky, so we decided to wash it instead. People would want me to remove this. Afterward, the chicken is carefully cut into pieces to avoid puncturing the bile sac. Very big. Ah, 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 ah,
pembe za kiume. Ah, lakini hizi ni zile nene. Sawa, sawa. While setting aside the good parts, Grandma also put aside some pieces for her beloved dog. It's cooked. You see that? That is the head. Let's see what she does with it because she knows better. She's cleaning it. She removed the beak. So she's washing the chicken times I think this is the third time or the fourth time she's washing it. Add in salt. Very sharp. So grandma is telling me that I don't need to add water inside. We let it fry first. I'll see. Today it's a learning day. On the other side, the lady is preparing coconut oil for the beans. Once the beans is boiled, she adds coconut milk without any other ingredients but just salt. This is a traditional method of cooking healthy beans making them suitable for beans anyone to enjoy the beans these beans can be served with rice or ugali it is used when it's raining or i think in the night maybe also because the compound is just might not be safe I'm <laughs>
I understand why the, it's not supposed to be covered because if it's covered um, with a tray, the smoke will get inside. So that's why I'm sure she's doing this with another sufuria or another saucepan so that the smoke doesn't get inside the, the food. That is a lesson learned, you know. I wish I could just crush it. I, I love black pepper when it's in powder form. So I'll crush the black pepper and put it inside so that it can boil with it. Meanwhile, I'll just cut the onions and uh, everything here. So to tell that the chicken is cooked, this this uh, the leg, the skin should uh, separate from the bone. So we are still going to add more water because it has to be well cooked. If I knew I would get chicken down here, I would not have bought it. Nima <laughs> 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 At this point, my cooking style was a bit of an issue because I preferred to fry the cooked chicken with garlic and onions to infuse the flavors, then add the other ingredients later. However, they preferred cooking everything separately and then combining it, which is also a great method to prevent the meat from sticking at the bottom. Then I'm going to add garlic.
Nini? This is the chicken. Uh, I would have loved to fry a bit more, but I think it's sticking on the on the lower side. So I just did the onions and uh, garlic inside. Then I cook these ones on the side with tomatoes. I make a little soup sauce for it. Then I add it here. So once this is cooked, well cooked, I add it all here. Because my way of frying that thing was bringing a lot of commotion. Really, we are going to cook ugali inside. Oh, God, the dog. The dog's meal is also cooking here. Josh loves her dog, really. Some people will just give the dog like that without boiling. Oh, so we should cook ugali here. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Mpishi wa ugali. Uda tutapika uko ama uko? Uko otu sao, lakini kule ndo kusao. Sao. Uko kuna jua mingi sao. Halamoka bebe. Nisukuri ya gani tunutumia? I am with it, so that's now the problem. Like this one is already here, already cooked. Yeah, so I'm buying more firewood she's going to bring for the ugali. Because the firewood I brought, I bought, is finished. So they're the ones selling the firewood. I just buy from them. Easy. We don't have to go anywhere else. And this sukuria is the one for ugali. So I have to be really quick and put it here. That tomatoes and uh, and um, the peppers they didn't cook well like I wanted but that's okay I think it's better than yours it's better than the other one <laughs> they'll cook here they'll just boil here Healthy cooking ugali, thank God, because I'm dying. The heat, no space.
He wants me to show how he's cooking ugali. First we make the porridge then is when he'll cook the ugali just like uh, the Zambian way so this is where I say it's good to Tembea Kenya like if you travel you see a lot because when I was in Zambia I was like in Kenya we don't do this but now see we do this yeah. It's just different tribes. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually a little more thicker than what I am used to. See what I do. Let me wash the cooking stick. water then I just cover it with small amount of heat it will cook with its water just like that The girl is done.
Puxa, Rô. This one came out early. We can warm it. So it's that time. The food is ready. And in these situations, this is when I now leave the job to the owner of the home because I don't know how to serve many people. So that is going to happen. Every food is here. We are going to eat on the other side. That's a lot of cypress. This is why this home has a lot of beautiful flowers and trees. You know? I knew something was going on here. <laughs> How is the food, Mama? It's nice, huh? Good. Yes. Ah. 